Hi guys, uh, this is Nishtha from Scholar Strategy and today I'm going to cover a question that has uh, come up again and again on the blog and other social media websites. So I thought I'll cover it here. So the question is, should you get work experience before masters or not? So this is uh, relevant, especially for freshers who are determining whether they should join the job uh, industry, work a bit before going for masters. Also relevant for people like, you know, with, um, let's say, three or four years of work experience, uh, should they continue working uh, or go for MS, right? So I have thought about it a lot. And the reason it comes it the question props up again and again is frankly because there is no black and white answer right so let's look at how can we really understand what's going on here so i would say first of all understand what are the pros and cons of getting some work experience so if you have work experience uh, even if it's one year maybe two year is kind of ideal uh, more than two year i don't think it's required uh, especially for non-management oriented kind of jobs so if you're going for master's in CS, electrical engineering and all, I think two years is, is what you're looking for as an ideal work experience, if you think about it. Now, if you have one or two years of work experience, what it does give you is a, is a better understanding of what it is like to work professionally in the industry. You will better understand what the job role entails what is it like to work in the real world what are the pros and cons and whether particularly this is the area that you actually want to continue your career in or not so a work experience person has a better perspective because he has seen both the sides uh, the downside is like the fresher doesn't really know like he might be thinking that software engineering or uh, or he wants to be a data scientist or some other job, but he doesn't really know what it involves. So that is the first advantage of people have work experience. They understand what it is like on both the sides and whether they want to continue in that stream or they actually are using masters to either switch gears or advance their levels because they are committed to that area. So that understanding will better come if you have worked in industry for at least one year. Uh, what is uh, another side, another important um, thing of uh, for work experience people is, I think when companies are coming for internship uh, in grad school, they do prefer people with a little work experience. I'm not saying that will reflect in the salaries or other stuff, but it might give them a slight edge over freshers because the company knows that, yes, you have worked in a professional environment and you know what it takes. Um, also, in these internship interviews, in the job interviews, if you have work experience, then that gives you additional stories to talk about. You can talk about situations in which you handled a particular challenge related to your field. You can uh, talk about like, you know, how you uh, handled uh, uh, a production release or what was it like to work directly with clients? What, would, what was it like to meet the deadlines? Uh, so like, you know, someone might know how to build a Python application, how to build a web application, but they may not know that what are actually the server issues, what is the load issue, uh, what kind of things matter more to the client and stuff like that. So if you have work experience, you have better stories to share in the interview. So that I feel is another advantage for work experience people. Now, what are the downsides? The Obviously, the downside is the time, right? So you are spending that time in uh, wherever you are before master's. And hopefully, like after master's, you can get like, you know, much better jobs. So you are kind of investing this time in preparation for something. Uh, on the other hand, fresher is saving time in the sense that they're going for master's directly and then they can get into a better job right after that. Obviously, given the financial repercussions, the difference in salaries in developing countries and US and all, it makes financial sense as well. So now the question is, what should you do, right? So it's very individual to you and you have to really understand what 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 is right for you. If you feel you're not prepared enough uh, First of all, if you're not sure that you want to do master's, then I would say work a year and then figure out. If you're happy in the industry right away, then continue working until you feel the need to go for the master's. Uh, but if you're not sure, like if you 
if you think like you know you can get more knowledge and then try to get into a better company then masters might be a a good way and you don't have to like you know get work experience just for the heck of it now another aspect is obviously what is the kind what is your profile and what kind of schools can you get admitted to so for example if you are not getting a very uh, good ranked school and uh, you're not happy to go there then it might be like you know you can spend a year working and then reapply again so if you have less than 2 years of work experience and you're not happy with the admit in your hand and you have a decent job offer you can actually consider that and apply again after getting the work experience however if you have more than 3 years of work experience i feel that any additional year of experience is not giving any advantage to your profile so so whether you go now or you are reapplying next year the results may not be very different so in that case there's no point in wasting time you should just go ahead and not like you know try to hustle uh, in the grad school itself so that can be one criteria uh, there are multiple other things of course like your financial situation and everything the work experience can give you a breather and all but uh, rest keeping all other aspects aside i do think that if you have a decent uh, school in hand then go for it and whatever efforts you were going to make uh, make it in grad school try to get a great work experience uh, and get into a good company after the masters program but if you are not very happy with the school offer in your hand and you have less than 2 years of work experience then there's no harm in getting some industry experience now here i would have to point out that the experience has to add value to your profile so if you are interested in pursuing a ms in embedded systems or something and if you're going to tcs for a testing job that really may not help your profile so you have to understand whether this job that you're considering is going to add some value to your profile when you apply later for masters or not if not then i would say just like you know you cannot control too many things a bird in hand is much better than two in the bush so go with what you have and put your best efforts there and and figure you figure your way out from there so that is my two cents there is no right or wrong answer work experience can give you certain advantages not only in admission chances but also in internship and job job hunt when you are in grad school that is a that is a real deal that is a feedback i've heard from many students so that is a truth other than that if you have made up your mind if you are someone who's ready to hustle out there then i would say go for it there's no there's no major disadvantage of going for masters without work experience it's not a lost deal uh, i've seen many success uh, many freshers doing great uh, after masters and uh, not having work experience did not really impede them whatsoever so that was uh, that was it from my side i hope that uh, resolves some of the doubts in your mind if you guys have more questions that you want me to answer about your grad school dream about whether pursuing masters or not then please post it in the comments and i will get back on that all right then see you next time bye for now